less than 2.2. And the beginning problems are asking me to use a protractor. So let me grab my, protra my protractor tool and get that all ready for to use. Um, we're going to start with question number two. And so what I'm being asked to do in number two is to draw a pair of complementary angles. And complementary angles are two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. Now, these two complementary angles have to share a common side. Adjacent angles are angles that are next door neighbor. For example, this angle is next door neighbor with this angle. If I name a pair of angles that are adjacent, I can name the first angle as angle W, B, X. That's this angle right here. And the angle that it's adjacent to The name is angle X, B, Y. This angle right here. So there's one pair of adjacent angles. Here's another angle, another angle. I'm going to call that angle X, B, Z. Angle X, B, Z is adjacent to this angle right here, angle W, B, X. Um, 
in the next portion of the homework assignment, we are being asked to name postulates um, that demonstrate um, different statements. And in number eight, we're looking for the postulate that says that angle FGH together with angle HGJ altogether measures and is equal to the measure of angle FGJ. That postulate is called the angle addition postulate. You notice we have two angles. Add it together. It demonstrates the angle addition postulate. postulate, we call this the segment addition postulate. And these little M's right here represent the measure of the segment, the measure of segment.
it's a factor 9. I'm going to rewrite radical 63 as radical 9 times radical times radical 7. Square root of 9 is 3 times root 7. 